Hi, this is Jim Ave, and I'm going to talk to you about our signature assignment for ATR 710. It's assignment 8.2, Athletic Training Lesson, and it's worth 155 total points. So this is a pretty big assignment in, uh, in our class. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to teach a lesson that you're going to develop during our time in class. So I'm not going to go in the order that I have it listed here. So this week, you're actually going to select one of the teaching methods listed below. And you can do more, like I said, others approved by instructor here. So there are the first ones here. Uh, there's only one, two, three, four from our one of the books that you downloaded and you got from free from the Mostyn Spectrum of Teaching. Uh, there you have the practice style, the reciprocal style, the self-check style, and the inclusion style. Now, in Mostyn Spectrum of Teaching, there are more styles than this, but when I did this uh, uh, assignment in the last time I taught the class, I used the other teaching styles uh, from the um, production style side of the, the spectrum and it was very difficult for students to actually uh, develop a lesson for this so I decided just to limit uh, for these four teaching styles within the spectrum and then I have some other teaching styles here or teaching methods, I should use the right term, that are used in athletic training. So what you're going to do this week, you're going to watch a couple of videos before you watch this video, and then you're going to select a, a teaching method that you want to use for your lesson. I know it's pretty early in, uh, in your development, but uh, that's the whole point of this. I'm going to take you through this process. Uh, so the first week is you're just going to pick a teaching method that you want to use. Then next week, I'm going to go over a whole bunch of information about athletic training education, uh, what's involved. Uh, so next week, you'll select one of the athletic training educational comp education competencies in a content area. You'll see when you go through the document and when I go through the document, um, you'll pick one area that you want to teach. That's what you're going to develop your lesson on is that particular content area. And we're going to use the 2011 uh, competencies, not the 2020 competencies, just because and we're not in 2020 yet. So the next time we teach this class, we'll do the 2020 competencies uh, just because it'll be a little bit easier to do this assignment on the 2011 competencies, to be honest with you, than the 2020 competencies. Uh, so you're going to select one educational content area and one expected outcome or a clinical proficiency for that content area. So from there, I'm going to help you actually design a lesson plan. I'm going to give you a template for the lesson plan um, to develop your lesson plan. So you're basically going to be able to develop, uh, to teach a lesson based on the lesson plan. Uh, in your lesson plan, you'll provide an introduction to it, how you set the scene for your students. Um, you'll develop student learning outcomes. You actually develop the content for the lesson, an inclusion, conclusion for that lesson, and then you'll do an assessment for a lesson. So you'll be actually doing this, uh, teaching this class um, in weeks four, five, and or six. Um, during our class. Now, you don't have a class to teach. You're not a teacher. Uh, who are you going to teach this to since you're not a uh, you're not a teacher at your school, your high school, your college, or anything like that. You work at a clinic. So how can you go about doing this uh, lesson? So you can teach this. You, don't, you can teach this to your friends. You can teach it to non-athletic trainers. Uh, or you can teach it to athletic trainers. So the idea is it doesn't have to be a formal class. You're going to pretend it is, but for the sake of this assignment, you can teach it to some of your friends. You can teach it to 
anybody you want to, but you should have enough critical mass and enough people to teach it to so you can actually do the lesson the way you designed it. So think about that when you start designing your lesson as we go through this. How many students should you have in your class? Do you need, do you, if you're going to partner up with people, you probably need them more than two people. Probably need to have four to six, you know, some of these you partner up with other people. So you may need to have more friends and cousins or um, grandma or whatever, whoever you're going to get into you and be your students. But you will actually teach this uh, lesson. So after you teach your lesson, uh, you're going to, this is what you're going to turn in later in this semester. And uh, you're going to provide a uh, summary of the lesson, explain how you uh, used your teaching method to meet the SLOs. So you're going to explain that. So here's what I had planned. This is the kind of teaching method I selected. Here are my student learning outcomes. Um, and these are the methods I used to meet those particular student learning outcomes. Uh, so you provide a summary and explain how you did that. It's one to two pages on the summary and how your teaching method actually met your SLOs. What actually went well with your lesson? What, what worked? What did not work? Uh, how can you improve your teaching the next time you did that? Base that on references uh, to support what you're talking about. That's two to four pages. Uh, what did your students think of your lesson? I per, I'm providing you a student evaluation um, um, for you to give to your students after they're done. So that's already provided for you. Uh, based on a student's feedback, how can you improve your teaching? Again, I want you to reflect back on your teaching um, after you've actually done your lesson. The next section is how did the lesson do at meeting Bain's conclusion on being the best college teacher? Even though you may not be te teaching college students, in reality you should be because since this is an athletic training lesson, <clears throat> most of your students should be college er, adults, which is college students. And most college people are adults. And so you're going to be reading the Bain book throughout our class. So how did your lesson do at meeting Bain's conclusions of being a best college teacher? You know, it takes some self-reflection, some uh, thought processing. Again, you obviously you'll be linking in Bain's conclusion into your discussion. Again, this is going to be after you teach your lesson. The first part of this assignment is you're going to develop the lesson plan. You'll turn that in to me. I'll give you feedback on it. Um, actually, twice you'll be doing that. I'll be giving you feedback to make sure that your lesson plan is uh, following um, the process that I want you to do. And again, I have another presentation about the lesson plan and all that. So for this part of the assignment, the number four here, all these reflections on after you've taught the lesson, you'll pr either provide an audio video presentation or a written paper addressing the four areas above. And you'll include your lesson plan and with if you're doing uh, the spectrum style, they usually will have some kind of a task sheet. Uh, some of these other areas, you may also have a task sheet uh, for your assignment. So you'll turn that in too. You'll submit that in both a, an assignment and in the uh, form, which I'll talk about in a second. You use the course reading, the lecture material, and at least 10 other acceptable resources of literature to support the material in a presentation. So some of these resources and references will be included in your lesson plan, but also you should be supporting what you're doing in your lesson based on research on teaching. There's a, the Athletic Training Education Journal provides a lot of great resources for us uh, now compared to what it was like when I was uh, first learning how to teach. Uh, about from this point in the program, I assume you know about good quality of resources. I have listed the types of resources that you should use, and not only in this assignment, but 
throughout our graduate program. Peer reviewed journal articles are always the best. Journal of Athletic Training, Athletic Training Education Journal, Journal of PE, Recreation and Dance. Textbooks, use the most current edition. Again, that includes AT textbooks and other textbooks. Again, since we're talking about education, you may be looking at uh, PE or medical education, uh, nursing education. Nursing's done an excellent job in education. PT, OT, uh, any other education uh, journals, textbooks. Our NATA provides us professional materials that we should use. Our website from the NETA website, the NETA Executive Committee on Education has provided material. So all these other websites, actually this is, got our, this is not the NETA BOC, it's just the BOC. Katie's website, which is, you'll learn, is our accreditation body, blah, blah, blah. So all the way down, these are ranked from best to least. Um, they can be used, but as you should know by now, never use Wikipedia or blogs. Provide an introduction and a summary conclusion in your presentation. And I could go over all this formatting stuff um, from this point. Our, you're, you're going to post your lesson in the forum, and then we'll have a, as you'll read later, you, in, you post it in a forum at Post two to two to four open-ended questions that you want other students to respond to, and then you should be keeping that thread going by asking more probing questions and respond back to them. And each student will read or listen to two other students' uh, presentations and have a uh, significant response. You've done enough threaded discussions at this point. I don't feel like I need to really respond to that. So again, this week, what you're going to do is you're going to watch some of these Spectrum videos. Um, maybe if you're not going to pick one of these because it's already been picked, picked. Again, first come, first serve on these teaching methods. Actually, what I think I'm going to do for our classes, since we only have four of these, um, two people can do more than uh, one of these lessons or teaching styles you know, if I get my brain working today. So I'm going to allow more than one person to pick practice style, reciprocal, and all these other styles. But you, everybody's got to have different competencies. So that should be interesting to see how that goes. Again, this week you'll pick your teaching method. And then next week, we're, again, we're going to build on this as we go. I think this will when I did this the last time, it really worked well. Students got to teach, learn how to teach, because before I didn't have students actually teach. They developed their muscle, but they didn't teach.